Hey guys, Katie here, we're back. Now, where we left off was we finished the second era. Now we're gonna do the third. Alright, we'll go. It's a tutorial. Planet, the humans seem promising, but did they survive your long slumber? So ominous. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Press the any key. Right, welcome to the third era. You can always press the question mark for more info. You've awakened again. It's dry and barren. You recall a time when humans walked, to you, <laughs> walked your surface and wielded the food and wealth you gave them to build villages and start important projects. You still sense their presence, but without your aid, they will die. Once again, you gather all your strength. Right, <clears throat> we got Mr. Crabman. Crabby Abby. Whoa, who's this dude? Who's this dude? It's swamp giant. Jeez. Swamps. Use the swamp and ocean giant to create a swamp of at least 15 patches. Okay. So, alright. Water. Done. Uh, how does I make a, how do I make a swamp? Wet wasteland and forest into a swamp. Hmm, okay. So, where can I put this? I guess we can do it right here. Oh god, look at it. It's disgusting. Look at it. It's horrible to look at. It's all that. Hmm? Finish the third era. Finish an era with a forest village which has a hundred village prosperity. Huh, okay. Whatever. Next. Your swamp thrives with life. Your swamp giant has gained a new ability. Use the swamp giant and create herbs in the garden. Okay. Right there. Next to that. What is it? Reeds. Oh god, look at it. It's disgusting. Okay. Do we get anything? I mean, oh look, it's a dude. Look at him. Oh no. Oh, there we go. The herbs you produce produce technology. Ah, oh, great. The peppermints you placed are providing the village with 7 technology. This means technology in use will slowly rise to 7 of 7. Uh, the spirit of the village have gained you some of your strength. Your ocean giant has a new ability. Okay. Grow aspect. Aspects abilities allow you to upgrade individual plants, minerals, or stuff. Okay, so... Um, I guess we use it on the patch of herbs, which is that peppermint. Look, she's gonna she's gonna go pick some peppermints. Got a dude just chilling out, relaxing, maxing all cool. Oh god, that's horrible to look at. I don't want to look at that dude. Go crab man, you got this. Whoop. Oh wow, you gained two extra food. That's interesting. You will notice the aspect appearing on the patch panel, on the upper right hand corner. As you see the growth aspect, you has added extra food to the patch of peppermints. All giants have aspect abilities which can upgrade plants, mineral, uh, animals or minerals. But you sense there is more. The aspect you place is kindled a transmutation within the herbs. Oh, transmutation. Tomato. Okay. You can click on the tomato icon to transmute the peppermints into tomatoes. Let's do it. Done. Whoa, look at that. We've got tomatoes now instead of peppermints. Click on the... Oh, uh, yeah, I already did that. Well done. Aspect can be used to transmute plants, animals, and minerals into more powerful variants. Don't forget that these tomatoes also have a new symbiosis. Huh, okay. Uh, what is it? Healthy. Plus 0 0.5 tech for each one point of food on this patch. Oh, okay. By using the correct transmutations and symbiosis, you can complete projects with these. Great. Oh, hello. Is that a library? School project. It seems the villagers demand this project to be finished with a certain amount of time. Oh god. Okay, next. Click on the project patch. Yep, done that. How much time do we have left? 15 minutes! Okay. You can always tap space bar to pause and unpause the game. You can still issue action to your giants while paused. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so what do we need? We need 15 food and 15 tech. Alright, so... 
And we'll make some animals over there. Mr. Giant Man. Got some herbs. Right over there. Moi. Oh. Oh. Swing, swing, swing. Alright. Uh, no. Yes, actually, yeah, we have to do that. Right. Do, do, do. How much, uh... 15, okay. We've only got 9 thus far. And tomatoes. Great. Okay. And... What happens if I put herbs here? Ah, okay. Oh, what are they talking about? Poison? God, why would you do that? It's disgusting. Marshmallow. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. We need. Okay. I think we're at what we need, but we'll just grow the aspect over here. Create some more tomatoes. Tomatoes. Is there a, is there a fast forward option? Shining castle. <laughs> okay. To tomatoes. <laughs> now we just gotta wait. Uh, look at our planet. Looks pretty cool. Anyway. <laughs> the waiting game. It's, it's a shame that there's actually no like fast forward button. Oh. Well. He wants some technology, it seems. Oh, waiting. Gosh, nothing, nothing like waiting. You know what? Since I'm bored, we'll just make another ocean. Right there. May as well. <coughs> Give our giant something to do. Come on. One more. One more technology. You can do it. There we go. Done. Writing. Nice chief. Oh, hello. That's the ambassador. Great. Uh, herd aspect. Uh, toxic aspect. Okay. Yeah, okay. We'll pick you up with the swamp dude. Because that toxic looks interesting. Alright, toxic. Yeah. Okay, next. Well done. Completing projects will reward you with ambassadors who in return will upgrade your giants. Now you'll learn about prosperity. Prosperity is total amount of food and use, wealth and use, and technology and use four villages on the planet summed together. You can view this on the upper left hand corner. Okay, there it is. Villages also have village prosperity, which is the total amount of prosperity for the village. In order for a new village to settle, you must fill the prosperity bar, which you can view in the top left-hand corner. You seem to rumble beneath your surface. Alright. Ah, oh, look, it's Wukong. What's up, dude? Alright. Frost giant has awakened. Use the fruit plant ability in the swamp and result in different plants. Alright. Leaf aspect. Uh, fruit plant. Ah, okay. There. Put it right there. Empty patch right there. Alright. Whoop. Boom. What do we got? What are these? I don't even know what they are. Elderberries. Great. Use all your giants to raise the pro prosperity over 60. Play close attention to the prosperity bar in the left hand corner. Use... Uh, okay. If next to an animal nest. What's an animal nest? How can I make that? Herd aspect, domestic animals. Hmm. 
Can we plant poison? Upgrade to plant with a poison aspect. Yeah. You know what? Let's upgrade these elderberries into poison berries. Yeah. Let's do it. Whoop. Boom. Poison. <laughs> I don't even know what I've done. Mm -mm. 60, 60, 60. What else should I do? Leaf aspect. Fruit plant. Do, do, do. Growth aspect. It's at 49 so far. Oh, that's because that's a nice right. So currently we have a total of 55. Oh, it's still walking. Because I made him go all the way over there. That's right. Oh god, why would you jump like that? Toxic. Let's make those toxic. <laughs> <laughs> 53... I'm getting there. Uh, we could do with some more technology though. We'll put some stuff there. Whop, whop, whop. Mm -mm -mm. When it has enough food. Crab man... Tomatoes. It's kind of boring tutorial, not gonna lie. Sure. Let's make some tomatoes. Tomatoes. Alright, we're nearly at 60. Done! Great. We've hit 60. Well done, a nomad is about to spawn. In order to settle, the nomad will also require a habitable area with some animals and plants or mines nearby. Right. So, gotta make a forest. Luckily, we've got this whole land over here. Right. Forest man. Make a forest. Right there. Let's go. I know you have to walk all across this area that I made there, but that's fine. Hey, gosh. There isn't really much to say or do. I mean, it is the tutorial. Um, we'll get into a proper game pretty soon. Dep <laughs> depending how long this tutorial actually takes. Alright. Do I make forest? Latin patches. Oh, yep, yeah, done. The swamp giant has also unlocked exotic animals ability. Um, Alright, let's make some exotic animals. We'll do it right there. God, that's disgusting. Words cannot describe the amount of disgust that I have. Alright. Here we go. Done. Next. You've created stoat! You sense a nomad roaming the surface. Oh look, it's a little tiny stoat. Look at him. It's got a, it's got a green tail. <laughs> it sneezed. That's funny. Ta-da! Alright. The stoats creator have a symbiosis. 
Uh, it is a mineral within range. Okay. But we need... Who do we need? We need Malphite. Great. Let's make some minerals. Come on, rock dude, you got this. Oh. Calspath. Bam. Next. Stoats and Agate work well together thanks to their symbiosis. Do you remember blueberries working well with chickens? Blueberries also have a symbiosis which work with, uh, with other plants. Okay. Use the fruit plant ability of the forest giants to create some. Okay. Fruit plant, right there. Chop, 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 chop. Done. Select the blueberry symbiosis. If next to an apple tree, dandelion, or strawberry. Okay. Transmute into strawberries. Strawberries! Great. Placing blueberries next to strawberries will create a symbiosis. Okay. Pause the game. Yep. Complete the project. What does it need? Needs more wealth and, uh,. Uh, what is it? Wealth and minerals. Okay. Well, you we should have enough food, but we need more. Um, need more minerals. So, muck bomb. What the heck? Aurora. Huh. Okay. We need more minerals. We require more minerals. Let's go. Minerals. Ah, uh, kablamo. Done. We should reach it very soon. Great. And now we play the waiting game again. Do do do. Actually, I'm curious. Muckbomb. There's a whole piece of infested swamp land towards the target. Huh. You know what? <laughs> Let's throw the muck bomb inside the ocean, see what happens. Whoop! Cloud! Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, what's our Krabby Man do? Alright, let's uh, do some Aurora. Okay, Aurora. Whoop! Aurora Borealis. Oh, it's a healing thing. It's a healing spell. Okay. Great. Shrine. Ugh. Now, I feel like I could edit this, fast forward it, to when we actually reach the thing, but it takes it takes too much effort, unfortunately. So, I mean, we'll just make a wait. Like, I don't think I'll have enough time to actually start a village and all that. So we'll just start that next episode. We'll just leave this one episode for the rest of the tutorial. Kind of boring. I mean, you don't exactly have to watch this episode, but if you want to know the tutorial, you can go to watch it. So, you know, pretty soon we're going to reach wealth and use. It's actually funny because i got like all this wealth here, but it doesn't accommodate to anything. Come on, you can do it. One more. There we go, shrine is complete and an ambassador wants to join you. Oh look, it's Mr. Bear Man. Your specialization is going to be extremely prosperous. Witness how their resources are growing. Okay. Great. Uh, as a result of the huge growth, your village has become extremely greedy. Be sure to tap space so you can pause and see what is happening. Okay. Pause. Oh, wow. 
last path is attacking the shrine. Okay. Oh wow, look at them. They're going greedy as hell. Alright, next. Witness how the village falls into complete chaos. I can see here. Jeez, look at that. It's a whole army. <laughs> Oh, uh, humankind. This new village is beyond saving. Destroy them. Use rock giant or swamp giant to destroy the village. Alright, rock man, let's go. Make an earthquake. Let's go. Kablamo! We also knew what this happened. Muck bomb, go! Rock giant, use earthquake! Muck bomb, go! Kabon! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck your village! <laughs> Buy another one, you rich motherfuckers! <sighs> Okay, well done. One village still tall and strong, but others greed led to its own destruction. Achieve new developments by having the villages developed in different directions. In doing so, you will unlock new plants and minerals, minerals and projects. May one day the humans will be able to take care of you while you slumber. Click to continue and view all your achieved developments during this game. Complete developments to unlock new plants, animals and mines. <laughs> oh cool. White willow and topaz. Okay, great. You can start an era now. Uh, but we'll leave that for the next episode. We've done quite a lot for today. Ah, so. Great, we've done the tutorial, guys. Uh, next episode, we'll actually start our own world. See what happens. See if we just turn it into complete ruin or we make something very prosperous. We, we gotta say. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you then. Bye.